Okay, this is going to be a short tutor tutorial done in uh, Home Designer Pro 2015. Uh, but this tutorial applies to any version of uh, Home Designer Pro. The demonstration is going to be on the Transform Replicate tool. And I'm just going to put a cabinet in, in the plan here. And the Transform Replicate tool works on any object. I'll just select the object and then in the uh, Edit toolbar here, you'll see uh, here's the uh, Transform Replicate icon, Transform Replicate object. Left click on that to open the dialog. And it's germane to whatever selected. So I'm going to make uh, five copies of that base cabinet and move those copies to the right. That would be positive X, uh, 30 inches. And also, um, in this case, I'm going to move them, each copy 12 inches up screen, Y, and 6 inches up in each copy will be six inches up in uh, the third dimension. Now you won't be able to see that in plan view, but I'm just demonstrating that <clears throat> you can make copies and move those copies precisely relative to the original object. We'll click OK and that will carry out the command. There's the uh, copies of the base cabinets and you can see that they're each, each successive copy is 12 inches more up screen and 30 inches to the right and I'll do a quick uh, elevation camera you'll see that each one is uh, six inches higher than the prior one and that's what I told it to do this works on any object so I'm going to marquee select those cabinets and delete them <clears throat> now I'm going <clears> to <throat> excuse me create a different kind of object just so you get, really get the idea that it's any kind of object. We'll go over here to build, framing, and uh, <clears throat> we'll make a roof beam. Turn that layer on and uh, show you this in 3D. There, there's the roof beam that I just created. Okay, and if I want to I'm going to select that copy, I mean the, the, the framing item, and then as a tool to apply to it, Transform Replicate, we'll make uh, 20 copies, move them to the right, <clears throat> 20 inches. It could be millimeters, centimeters, whatever unit you're working with. And there they are. It's quite simple and straightforward and it's quite wonderful in terms of getting uh, various jobs done. <clears throat> There's a 3D of the copies I just made. Now I'm going to go back to select items, marquee select that group and delete those. Uh, I'm going to create a roof plane just to drive this home a little bit more. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I want that. Left click and drag to create a roof plane. Now I'm going to open the dialog box of the roof plane. Go to framing, builder of framing, and it'll build, it'll fill the framing up in, of the end of that roof plane up with framing. Let's take a look at that in a uh, <coughs> framing overview camera. There's that. Okay. And let's say uh, I wanted, uh, I'm going to turn, I'm going to shift select this and rotate it. So it's more like what we were working on the other day. I, I'm, I'm speaking to a lady in Australia. Now these are, um, I'll open the, di the roof plane dialog box, go to the framing tab, and the spacing is 24 inch on center. <clears throat> let's say we wanted to change our minds. I'm going to shift select these and delete them. And I want to put them in there um, at 36 inches on center. I'm going to click on the first one and set it to uh, 36. Move the whole thing. <clears throat> there's a couple of ways to do this. You can use transform replicate. Now there's 19 feet, 9 inches, 
And so that's three into that, about six, six copies. We'll make six copies. The transform replicate. Six, move each copy to the right, 36 inches. Again, the, uh, I told you I'm an imperial guy, but metric works exactly the same way with this tool. And there you have it. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo that. There's another method. You just click on the first object, and then I'm going to click on this tool. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Never mind. Pro doesn't have multiple copy tool like in, in uh, Chief Architect Premier. But, so this would be your tool of choice. And you just select an object, copy is the attribute, and then tell the copy to move in whatever direction, plus or minus X, plus or minus Y, plus or minus Z, if you, if you wanted to go towards your nose or away from your nose relative to plan view. Or you can rotate. Resize, well, resize is uh, grayed out for this type of object. There's certain other objects uh, that you can resize and reflect. Now, I use ref the reflect command quite a bit on uh, text. Let me demonstrate that. I'm going to put some text in here. <laughs> I can't type. There we go, text. And I'm going to add an arrow. Okay, let's say I wanted this label, we'll stick it over here on the plan, and now I want one exactly like it over there. I'm just going to shift select those, hit transform replicate, we'll make a copy, we'll move the copy to the left 12 feet, and reflect it. Now let's go 12 feet. And there's the copy, reflected 12 feet away. Now, it's, If you know the exact distance, so you can do that. But it's very hand, transform replicate I use all the time is quite a, a handy tool. So hopefully this will help. Uh, ex oh, one other thing. <clears throat> well, not that you would want to, but you could take this roof rafter. And again, like I showed in the original, we'll make them 16 inch on center and six, uh, seven copies. And I want them to move, each copy to move up screen 12 inches. That's what it does. It does exactly what you tell it to do. I'm going to undo that. I'll make uh, 12 copies, move those to the right, 16, without any other changes. And there you have it. That's how that tool works, and uh, I hope that it helps clarify what I was doing and, and how and with what. Thank you.